Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you all the things that I picked up while I was on my trip to Nashville, Tennessee. When I go to the States, I always like to pick up um, a bunch of things because usually things are a lot cheaper, there's better selection, and there's less taxes and stuff like that. I got one thing that was sort of souvenir-like, and that was my Stetson cowboy hat. I'll put it on for you. I think it's so cute, and um, I wouldn't re really wear it around the city or anything, but I would definitely wear it at the cottage, by the dock, as a summer hat. Um, it's great for keeping the sun off your face, and it's just really fun and kind of a great souvenir from Nashville. And this one is, like I said, by Stetson, and it's um, sort of a suede nubuck kind of material. It's really pretty, and I really like it. Yay! <laughs> And it was, I think, $50. And the second day I was in Nashville, I went to Hillsboro Village, which, if you know Nashville, that's kind of um, right by Vanderbilt and Belmont Universities. And I went to this store called Posh, which I really liked. They had a lot of great brands there, Mink Pink, Mason Scotch. One in the mall at Green Hills has more high-end brands. They had, like, Rebecca Minkoff. They had Lamb, things like that. But the one in Hillsboro Village is a little bit... Um, lower priced, which is good. And I bought this sweater. It's by the brand Wooden Ships. Right there. They do like hand knitted and hand crocheted knitwear. Now it looks kind of funny on um, holding it up, but on it sort of goes on like this. Then the sleeves are smaller and tighter. Hopefully you can see. And then the neckline is a little bit off the shoulder, kind of wraps like that. And then again, it's sort of a shorter sleeve on this side. It's hard to describe, but when it's on, it sort of drapes really nicely. One end is longer than the other. It's all asymmetrical. It's just really pretty on. It's an interesting sweater. It's not like anything I have. Um, it's not the best sweater for like layering shirts underneath because it's just so oddly shaped. But it's really nice just to give a bit more interest to like a jeans and a sweater look in the winter because it's something a bit more special. It's really, really soft and warm and um, I really like the way it looks on. So I got it for, I think, around 60 Also in Hillsboro Village, I got a bunch of jewelry. So there's a store, I think it's called Pangea. And um, they have a really great gifts there, free people clothing, a lot of like... Um, like gift cards and that kind of like tchotchke kind of things and they also have great jewelry so I picked up this bracelet it's um, a bird cuff and it has all this like scroll work hopefully you can see this I know my camera doesn't have focus so it's kind of hard but I'll show it to you on my arm there and that was $15. And then I got a bunch of little charms, which hopefully you'll be able to see. But one is this shark. Um, hopefully this is working. So cute. And it's got this little mouth open. And these are all silver, the charms. The cuff, I believe, is just metal. But um, My favorite one is this um, like Thunderbird, and it's got double-crossed arrows, which I love that symbol. It's supposed to mean friendship in, uh, I believe, Navajo, so yeah, it's really cute. And um, I got this, that one was like maybe $12 or something. Then I got this Thunderbird, I mean, sorry, Arrowhead, which I just put on this necklace, and that one was $9. And lastly, the most expensive charm I got was this one, and it's a gun. You see that? And it's really cute. I put it on my bullet necklace. Um, this one's most expensive, I think, because it's the heaviest. It's it's the most got the most silver in it. And that one, I believe, was around 18 or 20. Another day, when I went back to Hillsboro Village, I bought this necklace. And it's by the brand Dog Eared, which I love. It's my first thing I bought from them, but I really love their stuff. And it's a sideways arrow. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's part of their Whispers collection, I believe. But they have them on their website online if you want to look at them. They also, it also comes in silver. This one is gold plated. And it was like 60 something dollars, I think. 
and I got it at um, a store, I believe it's called A Thousand Suns, I could be wrong. Hillsborough Village is not big, so you should be able to find it. Um, I guess I'll finish with the jewelry. I bought these earrings as well. They're triangles. And these I just bought at a little store on Broadway. They were like, I don't know, eight dollars. I just thought they were cool. I also went down to the Gulch, and in the Gulch, they don't have too many stores, but they have the Urban Outfitters that's in Nashville, and I bought this wolf shirt. It's just a cropped wolf shirt, kind of you know, the, the typical howling at the moon design. I like that it was cropped, and I don't have too many cropped pattern shirts. I have a lot of, um, like, plain basics. So this one is great with just wearing with high-waisted things, and it's a little bit more interesting, and yeah, I really liked it. I think it was like $20, $24 or something. And then this one I also bought, and it's a crop thermal in burgundy. So 90s. Ah, I'm like obsessed with it. And um, I bought it in a size large, which I really don't know why I bought large, but I tried them all on and I just liked this one the best. I guess because it was the most slouchy and it was the longest, but um, I don't know. I probably could have done for medium because it is really big, but whatever. I like it. And it can, you can wear it off the shoulder and it's just really great for throwing on over things and layering and uh, yeah. I don't think it was that expensive. I think it was like 20, in the 20 range as well. I mean, expensive for Urban Outfitters because Urban Outfitters can be ridiculous. Speaking of expensive, um, a couple months ago I tried on these shorts. They're blue high-waisted corduroys. Um, they're by Les Folies de, de Joie. And I was like, oh my god, these are the perfect high-waisted navy blue corduroys. I've been looking for shorts like this for over a year. And when I looked at the price, they were $89. I was like, are you crazy? I'm not spending $89. So that was kind of disappointing. And then right before I went to Nashville, I went online and they had them for $30 on um, sale. So I bought the blue ones and I bought the burgundy ones. And I had them shipped to my boyfriend in Nashville. And yeah, absolutely love them. I wore them so much when I was there because it's actually really, really hot. And I didn't really pack for 26 degree weather. So I ended up wearing them quite a bit the first week that I was there. I wanted to get a pair of moccasins because I always buy moccasins when I go to the States. They're just, again, cheaper. <laughs> I'm always trying to save even just like $5. It adds up when you buy so many things. I didn't really have any stores that sold moccasins except for one. And they charged quite a bit for them. They charged the same as in Canada. So I was looking online and um, I fell in love with this one pair of kitty moccasins and they are these navy blue ones amazing and um, these are Nordstrom exclusives you can only get them on Nordstrom.com this color but I think the color is so stunning this is my favorite style of loafer moccasin the Minnetonka and they come with the driving sole which is my favorite sole as well for moccasins um, later on when I was in Pigeon Forge I picked up the forest green pair as well. So this was the pair that I originally was going to buy and then I found the Nordstrom exclusive navy blue ones. So um, I thought, okay, I'm just going to get the green ones as well and they're just really pretty and a great mossy kind of forest color green. See that? Yeah, and with moccasins, in case you've never had them before or and you're ordering them online, you should always go down a size. I'm an eight and a half, nine, and my kitties are all in a size eight. I bought these amazing ash high heel wedge sneakers. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much I love these. Um, I've worn them so much since I bought them. Um, they are the most comfortable shoes. They are so flattering on your leg because they, they raise your leg up because they have a wedge that's like that high on the inside. And, um, but they're a lot sleeker and more streamlined than the Isabel Moran wedged sneakers. These ones are just a little bit less in your face. They're less bulky on your foot, especially if you have larger feet like me being an eight and a half, nine, it's better to have something more streamlined. And they're so comfortable and I can walk forever in them. I'm actually gonna wear these today with my outfit today. And I love them, love them, love them. Like totally would repurchase a million times over. Um, I bought these on bluefly.com. They were the last pair in my size. 
and they were a really, really good deal, um, under $200. These cost $300 normally in that range, maybe even a little bit more. They sell them on Carmelo, on Shopbop, on a lot of different websites. I think Ash even sells them on their website. Made in Italy, leather, gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. And I think they're worth the 300 to be honest, but obviously I prefer to pay less, so I'm glad that I got them for under 200 And um, I know it might seem like a lot for a lot of you, but Isabel Moran ones are $700. These are incredibly well made, and you can just see all like the detailing, the stitching. They're super, super comfortable, and I can just not say enough good things about Ash as a brand in general. I have two pairs of their Virgin sneakers and I love them to death and I just think that their stuff's amazing. So, highly recommend checking these out if you're looking for wedge sneakers. I know it's kind of a weird um, trend, but I love it. And I actually had a pair of Guess ones, like when I was in high school, they were my sisters and I stole them from her. Um, so like, I'm a big fan of this. And I know also C by Chloe does them as well. But these are my absolute favorite. I went to Franklin, which is just south of Nashville. It's um, a suburb, and they have a big mall there called Cool Springs. And I went there just to go to a couple mall stores that they don't have at Green Hills. Um, one of them being Forever 21 and Aerie and that, those sort of places. But I stopped at Victoria's Secret. I bought these little lounge pants. They are so cute. They're gray and orange stripe with a heart, and they're just um, like flares. And they're thermal, and they're so cozy. Those, those were like 20 something dollars. And then at Forever 21, I bought this thermal top. Can you see a trend? I was really into thermals. Um, it was $12.90, and it's just like a little Henley in this oatmeal color. And I know this comes also, I think, in blue or black, because I saw it the other day at Forever 21. I also bought these shorts that I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see them. They're like high, not really high-waisted, but um, flannel snowflake print shorts. They're really cute. They're not exactly like great quality. They're sort of thin and yeah, they'll probably pill like crazy, but I think they cost like $13. They were super cheap. Anyway, moving on. Let's go. Uh, vintage. Let's go vintage. Ah. <laughs> Okay, the Vintage in Nashville was okay. Um, there were two really good stores. One was called Local Honey, and I bought this skirt there. It's a black and white floral um, rayon maxi skirt, and it has buttons. The buttons are supposed to go down the side like this, but I also really like it with the buttons down the front. And you can undo the buttons at the end and sort of show more leg, or you can keep them all the way buttoned. And I think they're just really cool looking. Uh, this was, I think, 20, 24 or something like that. The other um, vintage store that I loved was called Goodbye Girls, and by spelled B-U-Y. And that was in Five Points in East Nashville, which is across the river. That store was unbelievable like so good the only store as good as that that I've ever been to is Penny Arcade so I absolutely loved it it was made for me the amount of like 90s um, Native American inspired stuff uh, Western Southwestern kind of look stuff was unbelievable and the, the store was so tiny and it had so much stuff in it that I wanted I could have spent a fortune there but I tried to rate it in I only bought Four things. I got this sweater. It's Ralph Lauren, 100% um, wool with a wolf embroidered on it. And how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, I've seen this on eBay for quite a bit of money, oh, like around $100. But I bought it for $30. So I was psyched to find that. And I was wearing it with my blue corduroy shorts and it looked so cute. So I got this belt. It's um, an arrowhead belt. It has some turquoise stones in it. Well, it's not really stones. They're plastic or something. I wear it as a waist belt, and it works, and I really like it. So and Then I bought this dress, and it's crushed velvet and floral baby doll. So you guys can see this. And it's so cute. It has different kinds of flowers on it. There's like a smaller floral, and then there's this larger floral. 
and the velvet panels, and I just thought it was so interesting. And it's a little bit um, like boxy baby doll. So when I was there, I tried it on with this suede and fabric belt, and I really liked the way it looked, so I ended up buying the belt as well. So the belt was $10, and this, I believe, was 30 30 or 40 not Not too bad. And something really unique. Like, I've never seen anything like this, the patchwork and the tears and everything. So that was a big score. I love that. I bought this hoodie right before I left and I had it shipped there and it's a Tennessee Volunteers hoodie. So we went to the University of Tennessee football game in Knoxville and I wore this and it has the T on the back. It was freezing so I had my coat on pretty much the whole time and <laughs> no one got to see it at the game, but I wore it all day, and like everyone was tailgating, and yeah, it was fun. It's from the University of Tennessee website. I went to Nordstrom's. I was gonna get a Proenza Schooler handbag, but I just couldn't justify the price when I already bought so much stuff, and also I spent so much money, like more money than I expected on things like food and traveling and gas and. I don't know, just being there for two weeks, it added up to a lot more than I was expecting. Instead, I just bought um, this shirt. <laughs> so it's an equipment silk shirt. It's beautiful. And it's long enough that you can layer over it. And the tail of the shirt peeks out. And I just really, really love it. I can't even describe anything else about it. It's pretty. <laughs> and it looks great. You can dress it up. You can dress it down, you can wear it with cutoffs, you can wear it with dress pants, you can wear it with a skirt. It can be smart, it can be casual, it just works in so many ways. And the equipment makes the best silk shirts in the world, hands down. Um, this is the original shirt. It's a size small and it costs $200. A lot of money, but well worth it. I think no other dress shirt feels as nice, fits as nice, looks as nice. And for someone that came from wearing a school uniform, I hate dress shirts, like hate. I never wear them. I have like maybe four in my closet. I really hardly ever wear them and I don't even like like wearing them. I like wearing this and I want to wear this because it's that nice. So I figured if I'm gonna own one smart dress shirt, I might as well get the best one. And that's why I bought it and I love it. And I like that it's blue and it's kind of different and not like white or black, which I would probably go for normally. And then while I was in Green Hills Mall, I picked up this Gap sweater on sale. It was 20 bucks. And I just love the way this sweater looks with this underneath and then the collar comes out and it's really, really, really nice. Gray jeans, amazing. Um, I also wore that on the plane with the wolf sweater, and it looks really cute, um, which is why it's all wrinkly, because I haven't got it dry cleaned yet. Last two things are from Free People. I absolutely love Free People, and they have a store in Green Hills Mall. I bought this bodycon dress, and it's got this amazing floral print, long sleeves, it's got the U back, and the bust on this is incredible. It's like a sweetheart bow, and it makes your this area of your body look amazing. Like, maybe I wouldn't recommend it if you were really large or chested, because it might even be too much. I was like, do you have anything else that looks like this? Because I want more of this. Um, and she brought me this next dress, which I'm going to show you, but I ended up buying this dress the first day because I liked it the best. Even though it is quite bodycon, it's not something I normally wear. I don't usually like stuff that's really tight. Um, I bought it in a medium, so it's not like skin tight cutting off circulation. Uh, it was $68. It also came in a brighter red color. If I ever feel like it's too much, I can always throw a big cardigan over it um, or blazer or something to kind of camouflage the bodycon and make it a little bit less sexy. Or, you know, you can always wear kind of tights underneath to suck you in. But, yeah, I just love it. It's like Kelly Kapowski, like Saved by the Bell, 90s awesomeness. So while I was trying that on, she brought me this dress. It looks like this. It's cap sleeve. Um, it has a sweetheart neckline, and then the rest is see-through at the top. And it has an open back with a bow. Super cute on. 
It's also Bodycon. This one is a size small and I got it on sale for $49.95. It's regularly $88 and this one I could do small no problem because this ruching stuff here, it's much more flattering on your body and it kind of hides any imperfections so it looks really good and I love it. And I think this one's a lot easier to dress down because it's neutral versus the floral which kind of is a bit more sexy just naturally. I'll get a lot of wear out of it with just tights and sweater and a little beanie in the winter time will look really cute. I'd wear it with like little combat boots and I think it would look adorable. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys liked it, liked what I got. If you have any questions, leave them below. Video requests, leave them below. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!